So as you guys are looking at this problem, you could see, all right, well, I have to add. Now, a lot of times you guys could immediately, students want to say, you know, let's try to rewrite this and all, let's, you know, one over secant, one over cosecant, uh, rewrite that as one over tangent, you know, and so forth. There's many different things you guys could do. My advice is if you get stuck on anything, always rewrite things in terms of sines and cosines because all those trigonometric identities, you can always write in terms of sines and cosines. So if I do that, I get cosine of theta plus sine of theta times sine of theta over cosine of theta, right? Because tangent using my quotient identity, if you look at your quotient identity, tangent is the same thing as sine over cosine. Now, if I multiply those, I get cosine of theta plus sine squared of theta over cosine of theta, right? Because x times x is x squared, so sine times sine is going to be sine squared, correct? But now we still need to combine them. We're trying to get this down to one trigonometric identity um, or number. So we got to combine them. Well, we have a fraction over here, and we can rewrite that as a fraction. So remember to rewrite, to add fractions or subtract fractions, they have to have the same de denominator. So the least common denominator of 1 and cosine is going to be cosine. So I multiply cosine over cosine on the left side, and I get cosine squared theta over cosine theta plus sine squared of theta over cosine of theta. Now that they have the same denominators, I can combine the numerators over the denominator. Oops, let's write that as cosine. Okay, then if I look at my trigonometric cut now, I see that I have a cosine squared and a sine squared. So when you look at your Pythagorean identities, what does sine squared plus cosine squared equate to? One. one. So that's one over cosine. Now this is one trigonometric identity, but it's kind of like the reciprocal. So what is one over cosine of theta equivalent to? Oh, it's, it's on your paper. What is one over cosine equivalent to? Secant. So that is your final answer. Done. All right, okay. Guys, I can show you a million examples, and I probably.